I wrote the third wave because I think that the first wave of the internet, understanding what happened in that first wave is going to be informative for, for entrepreneurs in the third wave. I think the third wave is going to be profound in terms of the impact on people's lives and have the opportunity to build some great iconic companies, but it's going to require a different mindset and a different playbook. The three P's are going to be important. Perseverance, it's going to take longer to have success. Partnerships, you can't go it alone, you need to partner with, with companies. And policy, you need to have a constructive dialogue with, with government if you're going to be successful in this third wave. A lot of the debate now, and particularly in Washington, is around these too big to fail, Dodd-Frank kind of you know, regulations. I think the real concern are, are these, are these banks too big to innovate? I think there's now thousands of interesting entrepreneurs doing interesting things. There's a lot of new startups that are figuring out ways to create lending platforms, lending marketplaces that give people access to the capital that they otherwise wouldn't have had. And I think 10 years from now, we'll look back and say the real challenge to the, the banking system was not the regulators focused on too big to fail, but the entrepreneurs who were chipping away and demonstrated that many of these banks were too big to innovate. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.